Well, parents, if you're looking for a new way to make learning about chemistry more accessible to young kids, a University of Arizona professor created a way to get them to engage through comic books. On well, your side, Tina Giuliano has thumbed through her own copy of the books. Good morning, Tina. So in reading it, it really does play out like an adventure. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. I got Poppy and Ray's Chemistries, the case of the vanishing Van Gogh. So imagine you're learning chemistry concepts through um, an adventure with Van Gogh and his paintings. And that's exactly what fourth through sixth graders here in town are doing thanks to a U of A professor's comic series. Got Sir Carbon. Over her 27 year career, chemistry professor Colleen Kelly says when the periodic table of elements shows up, so do the overwhelmed college students. My quest was to understand why all these students thought chemistry was hard when I just loved it. So, in collaboration with a former student who is an artist, she created a comic book series that weaves in chemistry concepts. They were laughing as, you know, they'd be sitting there reading and I would see them, their shoulders shaking, they're kind of giggling. I'm like, what did you think was funny? And they're like, this was funny. The books are for four through six graders trying to catch them early before the fear sets in. So um, it was a nice surprise to find out that, you know, when you're eight years old, you can still learn chemistry. As a part of the U of A tech launch program, she had to get the kids to yeah. read the comic. You know, I just knew people with third, fourth, and fifth graders. I said, let's try this. Maybe if we combine, like, different elements together. Fifth grader Aiden Kastner was one of the first kids to get the book back in 2020. And they were very fun and enjoyable because they had these really interesting characters. And his mom, B. Shalotic, says she saw how it helped engage Aiden. Because they see it all around them. If you talk about chlorine, he's a swimmer. He's going to know why then why his skin itches when he gets out of the pool. Fourth grader Dory Kendall and her fifth grade brother Daniel say the books held their interest in chem, something they don't learn in school until later. I was kind of nervous that if I didn't catch it on, I guess, then I might not understand it, but it ended up did. And their dad, David, agrees with the main consensus. They hope to see more of these books. I was surprised at just how in depth it was going. It was going into uh, college level chemistry. He hopes to mass produce more um, comic book issues as well as potentially uh, create an animated television show. So if you're looking to get your hands on these stories, she has a website that you can check out, which is uh, linked on our website, kega9.com. Tina Giuliano, Kega9 on your side.